Hi, Dave Anderson here at The Camera Company. I've had a lot of people come in lately asking how to export their photos from Lightroom so that they can be printed. Now, it's fairly simple to do, and I'm going to show you exactly how to set up a preset for yourself, and here we go. So we've got Lightroom open, and what we want to do is we, we've done all of our work on this nice image of the lighthouse, and now we want to export it so we can have prints made. So let's create an export. We can do it two ways. We can either right click on our image and come down and select export, or from the file menu, we can drop down and select export. Either way, we'll get you to this screen. And what we want to do here is now create an export that's going to export our image to the hard drive. So I've selected the hard drive in the export too. Under the location, I want to export it to the desktop. Now you can export it somewhere else, but the desktop generally works the best because you can find it easy, but you can also create a specific folder if you'd like. So I'm just going to export this one to the desktop and I'm going to name my export file on the desktop to print. Okay, file naming. You can rename your files if you'd like. I normally let it just come out under whatever the, the file name was that was imported into Lightroom. Under file settings, I want to export a JPEG. I want it to be sRGB color space, and I want the quality to be 100%. So basically, I want to give it everything I've got. Under image size, I don't want to resize it at all. I want to export all the data so that when we get it uh, exported, we can send that to the printer and get the best possible quality. Now, I like to do either 240 or 300 pixels per inch. That's going to give us a lot of resolution, which is going to allow us to get a nice, good-looking print. We don't want to sharpen it at all. That should have already been done. We can tell it to add copyright only, all the metadata, whatever we want to the export. I'm just going to do my copyright. I'm not going to add any watermarks. I'm not going to do any post-processing after it exports. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to say Add. See on the bottom here, I'm going to add a user preset. So I press Add, and I get to name it. And I'm going to name this to print. So now I've got a user's preset. I'm going to say create that. And now I've got an export for printing. So let's get out of this. We're all done editing. We're ready now to export our image. I'm going to right click on the image. I'm going to come down to export. And you can see at the bottom of my list here, I have one that says to print. That's already been set up. I click on to print. In the upper left, you can see that it's exporting one file. It's going to take it a couple seconds because it's a big file. And it's finished that export now. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize Lightroom. On our desktop, we have a folder here now called to print. I open it up. In that folder now, I have the JPEG with all the corrections I did in Lightroom ready to be sent to the printer and print. It's that easy. So remember, just create a, let's open this back up here. Remember, create an export. You can name it anything you'd like. Um, I've, of course, in this example, named it to print. The key, again, here is 100% quality, JPEG, sRGB, color space, and do not resize, but keep your resolution at 240 or greater for the best possible quality. I hope that helped. Create exports. We'd love to see some of your work. If this tip was helpful, please follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you on the next video.